it's time once again for a five minute ish review. The final film of the Full Moon Entertainment subspecies saga, Subspecies 5, Blood Rise. 25 years after the fourth film in the franchise, producer Charles Band gets writer-director Ted Nicolou, stars Anos Hovi and Denise Duff back to tell one more chapter in the life of our favorite vampire, Radu. The story begins on the night of Radu's birth to the sorceress Circes. Prophecy says that this child, born of vampire and sorceress, is destined to kill his father, the vampire king, Vladislas. Circes plans to dismember the child and spread its remains to the wind, when knights sent by the church intervene. Knowing the prophecy as well, they rescue the child in the hope that they can use it to finally rid the world of the vampire menace. Bobbing its ears and using medicines and potions to erase the child's demon-like appearance, they raise it within the church, teaching it the art of war. Knowing nothing of his lineage, Radu becomes a champion for the church, defeating vampires, demons, and other enemies. One night, he's assigned to hunt down Vladislas, destroy him, and recover an ancient relic, the Bloodstone. It is during this confrontation that he learns the truth of his birth. Conflicted, he leaves the castle with the woman Helena and her child Stefan, who are a prisoner of Vladislas. Helena turns into a vampire and attacks Radu, sending him on a 500-year quest to seek companionship and revenge. After all this time, I was so excited to hear of a new film in the series, and even more so when I heard all the principal players were returning. Ted Nicolau chose wisely to go for a prequel rather than trying to continue the story, trying to come up with a reasonable explanation as to how and why the character of Michelle survived all these years and how Radu survived his death again and found her. I mean, I'm a fan. Even I would find that hard to swallow. So instead, we go back to before the beginning and see the rise and fall of Radu. This is a great opportunity to allow Honest Hove to actually be seen in the film without the heavy makeup, and we get to see him slowly turn into the Radu we know and love to hate. To be able to go back and create the character that he originated 32 years ago must have been a joy, and Hove does a masterful job at it. Denise Duff plays Helena, the vampire who sires Radu and sets him off on his life of death and debauchery. She's amazing. She came into the series in the second film, but there is no way you could make a subspecies film now and not have her involved. Rather than playing a distraught Michelle, Duff gets to play manipulative and evil. Again, a change from her previous role in the films, and again, she's fantastic at it. This film has fantastic callbacks to the previous films in the franchise. The musician turned vampire Ash, the vampire slaying sword of Larites, Radu's wicked mother, and of course, the Bloodstone. It is all here. This story is masterfully written so that you can choose to watch this film last in the series or first. All the callbacks to the films could easily be Easter eggs to be spotted in the films going forward. It is told with great care to not drastically conflict with anything we've ever learned in the previous films. Truly well done, and a huge kudos to Ted Nicolau. If you are a fan of the previous films, there is no way you can skip Blood Rise. At the time of this recording, you can find it on Tubi TV, as well as the Full Moon Entertainment streaming site. If you've seen the film, let me know what you thought of it. Comment below this episode. Follow the link in the show notes to all the social media sites or send me an email at timeshifterspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.